Hi, my name is Philip and in this short tutorial I will give you some important information on how to export a dialogues documentation into the PDF format. I will also give you a quick look at three additional layout alternatives that we have added with the latest patch. The first thing you need to do is to click on the Save As button here and then select PDF Format. A dialog window opens. It contains various settings that can be made to configure the PDF. The most important settings are those dealing with the image quality, as images in the documentation are largely responsible for the file size of PDFs. Let us take a closer look at the given options. Allow Editable simply indicates whether the PDF can be modified in the PDF viewer afterwards, and whether elements can be copied out. Image compression method with a pre-selection JPEG is a standard defined by us. This standard reduces all images to JPEG format and embeds them into the PDF. The image resolution mode is very important. Let me explain this briefly. As a user you have the possibility to adjust the DPIs of your images. You can do that here under image resolution. In case you want to generate all images at 300 DPI, the exactly function up here makes sure that the images are actually downsampled to 300 DPI before they are embedded into the PDF. The image quality deals with a further compression rate. Here you have the possibility to specify how high the image quality should be. Our recommendation for this setting is 80%. With this choice you save a lot of storage space concerning the images. In addition, the quality of the images is not so bad that you could not put them into the printout or documentation. What you see here now is basically our standard set. We recommend that you set the image resolution mode to exactly, the image resolution to 300 dpi and the image quality to 80%. This is our recommendation because this configuration is a good balance between image quality and file size. For all users who install version 9.0 with a patch or who install the upcoming version 9.1 for the first time, we make sure that the configuration is automatically set to exactly 300 dpi and 80%. However, for those users who have already installed Dialogs Evo 9 and for whom these settings are different, we can no longer set this automatically afterwards. On a side note, embedding fonts in the PDF will ultimately result in the PDF becoming a bit larger. But this is necessary because otherwise the person opening the PDF will get a different visualization than expected. If the fonts are not embedded, the viewer gets a Windows standard font. As mentioned at the beginning, we have added three layout alternatives for the image page. These should allow you to display content even larger. I hope this short video was useful to you. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye.